Hey everybody, here is yet another video with something I thought uh, I'd show people, which is using um, an app store on the device so you can actually download apps from uh, the app store, but you can also use it as a launcher. So I'll show you that now. Um, there's an app store called Up to Down. Um, you can go online, go to their app store, create an account, and download the APK. I've already showed you how to install that APK, um, but using that, you install the up to down App Store APK on your EverSolo. And when you do that, you can download a variety of apps, but it also does some other cool stuff. So I'll launch it, you can kind of see it. You know, there's an App Store with a bunch of apps and they're upselling it here. However, what I want to show you is if you go to your profile, I've created one already um, and did it online. It has a variety of kind of options here, and there are some really cool options in here. First of all, if you go to My Apps, notice in the top hand, top right corner, there's something that says System Apps and System Services. So I check that, and what that allows me to do is not only see the apps that are installed, but it also shows all the system apps. So this is a way for you to actually launch all of the Eversolo apps. Now, what I've been wondering, given that it runs Android, is how do I actually get to the settings screen? And so once you have this installed and given the accurate permissions, you can actually use it as you hit settings, open. That goes to the settings screens here. That's the EverSolo settings, but notice below that, there's the Android settings screen. And so now I'm actually looking at the Android settings. I can see net network configuration, connected devices, it actually shows battery life, even though it's plugged in, sound, storage, a variety of things like that. You can see your logged in accounts, everything. This is literally the Android settings screen, and so that's a great way to launch it. Now, the other thing that I have is I actually have Chrome installed. However, if you go to my apps, Chrome does not show. And I think they actually deliberately hide it or prevent it from showing up in my app screen. Um, however, if I go up to down, and go to that profile screen, my apps, it's a way for me to launch Chrome. So I can literally from here hit open and you'll notice that Chrome actually launches. And so that way you can actually see YouTube or whatever it may be that you wanna see there. So it's a pretty cool way to do things. Now, the other thing that it shows you is, it actually shows you the apps that are installed on the device that I've downloaded, say Apple Music. Um, and then they're offering within their actual app store. And so you can actually upgrade the Apple Music app um, that's available. And so uh, including downloading a variety of other apps, I try to kind of manage, manage what I download. But uh, again, I'll show you if I go to Apple Music and there's an option here that says app installed details. So um, basically what that means is show me the app that's installed. And so this is 4.6.0. This is the app that you can download through the Iversolo um, app scroll screen or the list of available apps. But what it allows you to do, is if you go to the main screen, it says there's actually 4.9.0. So I can actually upgrade the Apple Music app. And I simply hit download. It'll actually trigger it. So it downloads the, um, Ever the, the, the app from within the up to down app store. Um, as you can see, it takes a little bit. So it's actually updating it right now, 36%. It goes pretty quick. Um, and so that way you can actually upgrade the native apps. Now it doesn't always work. Like for example, when I tried to upgrade Amazon Music, um, it has an error, but the Apple Music app, it can now upgrade to version 4.9.0. And when it does that, so I just downloaded it, I hit update, and it'll start installing it. So it basically uses the up to down app store to install the latest version um, as you can see so it gives some some fun hints and tips and it's installing it as we speak and so there you go and you notice it goes from download to up below here and so now when i click it and launch it from here or if i go to apps and launch apple music Now, of course, you have to agree to the terms of service. Sorry, because it did the fresh install. Agree. Basically, I'm now running the latest version. So if I go to home screen, hit settings, 
If you scroll down, you can see I'm now running version 4.9.0.beta and it works fine. And what's great about this is, you know, I can literally listen to lossless music at the high resolution off the native app. And so using, again, the up to down app store launcher, which is under profiles, I can update a variety of apps. I can download different versions. I can see what they are, but I can also do some other things. And so for example, say I installed it and suddenly it stops working. There's a version here that says rollback. And so if I go to rollback, Apple Music, I can see a variety of versions that are available in this app store. And it turns out 4.6.0, which is this particular one, was the version that was installed. So I can actually click that and actually revert back to the older version and make sure everything works again. So I thought I'd show you this. Um, kind of a unique way to do that. You can manage updates. One thing I will tell you that, that I actually did is I turned off automatic updates because I don't want this thing to update for me. I want to do it on my own accord and kind of manage it accordingly. So definitely go into settings um, and do that. So hopefully this is helpful and hopefully you enjoy it. Thanks. Bye.